Hello YouTube family. Uh, this is the aftermath of Lightning McQueen Derby car. I got fourth place out of 12 get and go cars, but they didn't give nothing for fourth place. And I would have got Mad Dog, but unfortunately they didn't have Mad Dog in my class. They had Mad Dog in every other class but mine. So uh, Lightning McQueen was a full send. Lightning McQueen was a full send, boys. I had blast for once. Uh, broke a bunch of shit. Uh, this is my first time building my own compact. I won a raffle compact in Hoopston, Illinois a couple years ago. But this is my first time in a compact. Uh, melted, well, it took me out. I melted my battery cable in half somehow. So I think there's a short somewhere in there, boy. That's, that's a full send if I've ever seen one. Well, yeah, the kids loved it, man. That's why I do this, man. A lot of derby drivers, they forget that the sport is a family sport. You know, they sh and it really, what pisses me off, one thing the most, is when people show up with their car not painted. Like, you know what I mean? It's a family event. But, yeah, old Lightning Queen had a, this side had like a 14-inch rust hole. Some shit like that. And this side over here had even a bigger ruster hole. Shredded the tire. I had a blast, though. I really had fun, though, man. The first time I've had fun. I've been doing this for over 20 years, and this is the first time I've had fun in a long time. You know, I just, look, bit my all thread. A lot of guys give me shit about uh, using all thread, but uh, everything's still tight and right. That's what I use to hold my cage in. Got my son's name there, Rowdy. So, but yeah, I had a blast. This side really didn't take too much damage like this side did. This side was... Uh, it's a full send, bud. I know the wells don't look the best, but uh, my shit don't break. Unlike some other people's. But yeah, she was a full send. I wish I would have got hard as hitter, though. But uh, unfortunately, my class out of 10 classes didn't have a hard as hitter, I guess, supposedly. So, yep. Lightning McQueen, Aftermath. I like doing, I used to run Batman, but my boy really likes Lightning McQueen, so that's why I did Lightning McQueen, and the kids absolutely loved it, look at that, kids absolutely loved it, so I'm going to think about doing another theme, I might do the Incredible Hulk next, I don't know, we'll see, but yeah, I had fun, I just want to show my YouTube family, uh, What's up? Totally forgot to number nine this side. <laughs> and we'll have to come up with a certain way to uh, keep this from bowing up like this. A lot of guys weld that angle iron there. I didn't know if that was allowed or not. Um, you know my crazy ass. I'll go straight through the strut or something. And a lot of guys say you can raise these front ends up, but I don't know how to do none of that. Like I said, this is my first time in a compact. This car was a one owner. One of my mowing customers owed me some money, and they just traded me this car for my work, basically. Has a clean title, one owner, here in Georgetown, Illinois. But yeah, I had a blast, dude. Is this one still tight? Yep, still tight and true. Yeah, I broke something in this tire over here, I think. I don't know, but I had fun. I'll probably keep the front tires and the, maybe one of the back donuts. Um, yeah, I think this is going to be my class from now on, dude. The only thing I did is just put my computer up there with some spray foam and a ratchet strap. And ratchet strap's a little loose, but the spray foam hold that. I learned that from demolition submissions. Spray can't go wrong with the spray foam. Stronger than you think. <laughs> yeah, that's a full sin. That's a thumbnail. If I knew how to do thumbnails, that would be a thumbnail. Yeah. Huge shout out to Eric for Mansky. I'm going to have him do my next one. Uh, he moved all my wiring for me. I ain't got patience for that. <clears throat> but yeah. Downtown Larry Brown helped out. And Blayton. Casey. My boy Rowdy helped out a little bit. My boy Brock Johnson. Flat Nasty. And the wire trucks. He helped me, helped me use his torches. So big shout out to Brock Johnson. I think he's going to come back bigger and better next year if he listens to me. Um, but, yeah. 
This is what this sport's about, family, friends, and kids, man. A lot of drivers forget that, dude. A lot of drivers forget that. They just go out there and run for themselves. You know, it's nice to win. It's nice to get that big paycheck. But at the end of the day, that's, that's what we're there for. We're there to put on a show for the people that's worked all week to, to come watch us, you know. You figure an am average family of three, you know, you're spending 100 bucks with food and, and pit passes and grandstand passes and, you know, if they want a t-shirt. So, yeah. You know? So, love it. I hate seeing those fucking cars that have $15,000 motors and the best paint job in the world and they go out there and just... Ah! Uh, you know, fuck that shit. Excuse my language, but... That's not what it's about. It's about going out there and having fun putting a show on for the people in the stands. Plain and simple. Never been a sandbagger, never will be a sandbagger. Love y'all.